Hi everybody, this is Harlequin. Harlequin came to us uh, as a stray. She was found off of Old Morningsport Road in Shreveport, uh, covered in fleas, matting. Uh oh, uh oh, hang on just a minute. We're not done. Go wait just a minute. Go wait just a minute. You just be patient. Okay, just be patient. Just be patient. Here, I'll take your bow off. Um, no, I know it's okay. Uh, just covered in sores. You can still see some of the sores that were on her. She stunk. Uh, she, her rear end is actually pretty dark, almost like she's been sitting in her own urine and feces. We contacted Caddo Animal Control. Let them. We let them know we have her. We posted her all over social media. Nobody ever came forward. Yeah. After she got done at the vet, or the once, I mean, nobody ever came forward, so we uh, sent her to our vet to be spayed, and uh, she's up to date on everything now. She's heartworm negative, shockingly. Um, we got rid of all, she had huge matting between her paws that we had to get the shears and kind of try to maneuver them out of there, uh, which, you know, that's got to be a painful. It's a sensitive area. So can you imagine a rock being stuck between your toes like forever? It's really not a good feeling. Um, she's sweet. She's happy. She's a tiny little thing. She had really funky ears. We've had to do multiple cleanings and treatments on her in her ears. Um, uh, I noticed though that her hair is pretty thin so this today is Friday uh, the 13th of August and we're going to send her to our vet on Monday just to have a thyroid test done so to make sure she's not dealing with any thyroid issues uh, if she is we'll put her on that medication it could be just environmental and now that she's in a clean environment with no fleas and all that stuff you know it could be that uh, now her coat's gonna grow in great Oh, really being very dramatic. Oh my goodness, that's so dramatic. <laughs> I'm gonna put her on the ground so you can see her tiny little butt move around. Where you going? Where you going? Let's see, how do you do with a toy? Good toy? You cook with that toy? She says, no, I'm excited to be out. She's been in quarantine for quite a while because she was uh, a stray. Uh, and then she went to the vet and she was kenneled again and then she's back to us and she's kenneled again so she can heal from her spay. So she says, I am just happy to be out. Look, I think she was used as a breeder dog. I mean, I could be wrong, but <laughs> you know, just the way that she looks. Harlequin, come here. Would you just come here for just a minute? Come here, go get that ball, go get it. Uh, she says, no, there is a big bulldog here that I'm trying to check out. <gasps> What's that? Go get it. Go get it. Oh, she says, no, I'm a diva. Well, you're going to be a diva now, that's for sure. She did really good on her bath and me trimming around her eyes and getting the matting from between her paws. So once her coat grows out, I mean, she's going to be a stunning little dog. Right now, she kind of looks like a hot mess, but she says pretty soon she'll look wonderful. So if you're interested in Miss Harlequin, you know what to do. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of people interested in her, even when she was on stray hold. So uh, you might be competing against a lot of people. So the little ones always uh, have tons of adopters and then the bigger ones stay here forever all right y'all we'll talk at you later come here harlequin come here mama good girl all right talk to y'all later bye